China's new Coast Guard laws can now allow Chinese ships to open fire on foreign vessels and authorizes the use of force. This new law is causing serious tensions with the Philippines, Vietnam and Japan who share the sea lanes with China. According to experts, China using this law will create a quasi-military presence in the disputed South and East China Seas. Calling the law as a verbal threat of war, the Philippines, amongst the many countries engaged with China over the South China Sea dispute, has issued a formal protest. Showing uneasiness with the law, Japan's Defense Minister Nuobo Kishi has expressed major doubts and has regarded it as absolutely unacceptable. So how does it impact the sea lanes in the disputed area? The new laws for China's Coast Guard, which is basically meant for monitoring the seas, now has the authority to board and inspect foreign vessels in Chinese claimed waters, destroy structures built on reefs disputedly claimed by China, make temporary exclusion zones as needed to stop foreign vessels and personnel from entering China claimed waters. Countries affected by the move include Taiwan, Vietnam, Malaysia, Indonesia, the Philippines and Japan. Many affected countries have long-standing claims to parts of the resource-rich and strategically located South China Sea. Also, the law just not stirs tensions in the South China Sea connected countries, but also countries like Japan which have islands in the East China Sea. Beijing may use the technical legality of this law to assert their actions in the disputed seas and also opens a new Pandora box for other countries. The US 7th Fleet also regularly ventures into these disputed seas. China can use this new law and justify their actions against the US Navy in a show of power to the new Joe Biden administration.